Hey kiddos, Glenn here. Uh, I'm super excited about the box I have for you today because it's the second Comic-Con box put out by Wizard World. And what they try to do with their box is take a little taste of their Comic-Cons and uh, ship it out to you in box form with a lot of goodies. Um, one thing that strikes me about Comic-Con box, I really liked their box last month. I thought it was a great first box. Um, I really enjoyed their items and they were unusual and you could, it, it gave out a, a, a particular vibe, you know, it gave out that Comic-Con vibe, that geeky vibe, whether the, you know, items themselves were better than any other box, um, it was presented better. Um, let's start with the box itself. The box itself is really neat. It's bright. It's colorful. I know the box may not mean a lot to most people, but when you open your shipping box and this pops out at you. Um, I think that's just a great start and it really sets you up. You know, they talk about um, when you're eating at a restaurant or you're creating a great meal, half of what you're tasting is with your eyes, right? Well, that's a lot of where Comic-Con box comes from for me. When I, this pops out at me from the box um, that it gets shipped in, this really says, wow, this is professional. They really care about what they're doing. They're putting some time and effort into it. And this is almost like getting a, a, a gift getting a present. So um, I know I'm gushing about it. I really liked last month's uh, and I like this month's too. Um, so we're going to go over it. This month's theme is Assemble. Now when I saw that, I, I, the first thing I thought to myself is Assemble. Okay, Avengers again. A lot of boxes this month, last month especially are doing that Avengers theme to go along with the movie. I get that, but my first thought was not another box that's doing Avengers. Um, now, having said that, when I dug into this, this is more than what it seems as far as the theme goes. The theme is Assemble, um, Avengers theme, yeah, but it also kind of uh, throws a little curveball in there once in a while. So let's go through the items before I get, you know, get a little too rambly. We are going to start with the shirt and black shirt this month. And it is kind of a funny shirt. Um, uh, one of the things about Avengers Age of Ultron uh, was s no strings. There are no strings on me. Uh, play on Pinocchio. Um, so this shirt, no strings. And there's Tony Stark as Geppetto and Ultron as Pinocchio with uh, Geppetto Tony there cutting his strings off. So uh, kind of a cool shirt. Very uh, nice art, the Disney style. Um, and... Uh, it's really, really well done. There's this uh, Comic-Con box logo at the bottom. You know I don't care for the logos on the items, especially shirts, but this is pretty unobtrusive. Um, I still could do without it, but the shirt is, is really cool, and it, it's not plastered all over the bottom or part of the middle of the picture here. So I can live with that. Um, if we have to live with these logos, this is actually one that's not quite as offensive as some of them. Um, so there's a shirt. Good job on the shirt this, this month. All right. When I opened this box, the first thing that struck me was this wearable mustache. It's got a elastic band on the back, and all the must. There's a bunch of different ones, and I'm not sure where this mustache, fake mustache trend, came from a year or so ago. Um, but it's kind of all over the place now. Um, but this is kind of a cool, a fun item. Um, it's one of those things that is just fun and kooky and uh, uh, just an item that you wouldn't expect. I kind of like this. You know, it's great for, you know, sporting events, taking your own picture, taking a picture with friends, stuff like that. So, so this is kind of a, a cool kooky item. All right. A mug. Now, remember we said we're getting a little bit tired of mugs uh, lately, but this is an outstanding mug. It's an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. mug. It's got the logo on the back, and then the Agents of Shield Marvel on the on that part of it too. And normally I'd be a mug. Ho hum, I've got a ton of these. This is an incredibly large mug. It is humongous. Um, this is unlike any other mug I've gotten. The other mugs I've gotten have been kind of on the small side. Um, you know, a lot of them have been good quality, but they haven't been anything near this. Um, this is, it's shiny, it looks great, it's very stark with the black and white, and it's heavy, it's super heavy, 
and it's super large. I like this mug a lot. Um, this is going to find a nice place in my kitchen because this is just an incredible mug. I really like this. Um, I'm kind of gushing over the mugs, um, and I have been getting a little bit tired of them, so hopefully this is the last one I get, but if this is the last one I'm going to get, this is a really, really nice quality mug. All right. Good job. All right, now here's where we get a little bit weird. The, the theme is a symbol, right? So you're thinking all Avengers stuff. Well, so far we've got a couple of those. Well, here's the first thing that's not Avengers related. It's a Halo helmet that you can put together yourself. So basically what you're doing, oops. Basically what you're doing is your, uh, it's kind of like a, a model. So you're, you're taking out all of the pieces and then inserting tabs into slots voila, you're assembling this helmet. So now we're starting to get into, okay, a little play on words with assemble. This is actually a really nice um, little little model. It's like a model head. You don't have to glue it or anything. Um, there, in this particular uh, Comic-Con box, there could have, you could have gotten one of three. This is the Halo version. There's also a Mass Effect version. I haven't seen that one. And there's a Star Wars one in R2-D2. I would have much rather had the R2-D2 than this one, but luck of the draw, this is still a neat piece. Um, and it cleverly fits in the Assemble theme. So, um, you know, they're, they're uh, using their heads and they're really taking the time to create a very interesting themed box. All right. A Marvel Mashems. Now we got one that was like super similar, super th super similar to this in one of the other boxes, and I just couldn't make heads or tails of it because it just didn't seem to make any sense, and it was ugly. And basically, what it is is it's a Marvel character in like this Mashem form. You can stretch them, you can bend them, you can crush them, you can throw them. Uh, it's <coughs> almost like it's made with silly putty. Now, I still don't quite get this, and I got another, the Iron Man is the one I got in a, uh, the other box, but that one looked really terrible. I mean, it came apart, you couldn't really tell what it was, at least this one, you can tell it's Iron Man, and you can do some interesting things with it, it makes a good stress ball too. Um, so, improved over that last one, I don't know if the last one was a different company or what have you, but this one is a lot better for being a little mashable toy. Still don't quite get the idea of it, but... Um, it's a lot better than that last one that we had. All right. Continuing the theme of assemble, we've got a luggage tag that's a big Lego piece. So a Lego movie branded luggage tag. Assemble, right? Legos. Another clever use of the theme. Um, and this is an actual Lego piece. It's really, uh, it's a hard plastic. It looks pretty cool. If you put that on your luggage going into the airport, um, you get some smiles because that's kind of a, a neat a neat little luggage tag piece and you've got your name and stuff on there. Uh, but that's that's a cool and different item. Remember we talked about ice cube trays, we talked about um, other things that that make the box unusual and this is an unusual item so that's a good job there. All right moving right along back to the Avengers theme of Avengers Assemble. Pack of cards, pack of Avengers playing cards or not playing cards but hobby cards. Uh, nine cards um, and they're basically this series is Kree Scroll War, so um, they're cards that depict scenes and stuff from the comics from, from uh, Kree Scroll, Scroll War. It's kind of cool, a pack of cards, a couple dollars or so. All right, now one continuing theme, continuing from last month, and this is the final item from these, is a print. Remember last month we got the, um, we got the White Walker print that was holding a kitten? This one is a nice... Batman, Iron Man print. Um, it's one of those um, kind of watercolor photorealistic uh, painting. Um, this is actually really nice. Um, they give some information about the artist um, who is uh, Rob Pryor and it's, uh, it's, a, it's an airbrush basically is what it is. It's not a watercolor. It's an, a, a photorealistic airbrush piece. And that's actually a nice little print. Uh, and what's on the back of it in between the nice stiff cardboard and the plastic is a comic. So another Secret Wars 1, another variant cover edition, um, exclusive to Comic-Con Box. It's got its little logo down here. And this is the third one of these I've gotten this month, which is great. I don't mind this. Um, these uh, variant covers are nice. 
Um, the fact that it's protected and in plastic, you guys know that that makes me happy. Um, so this is uh, this one has uh, Maestro and Old Man Logan on it, which is actually a pretty cool, um, a pretty nice variant cover. I like that cover a lot. Um, this is one of my favorite covers of the Secret Wars that I've seen so far. So the print and the comic. Um, got a little ad again for Con TV. We got this last month, and this is basically trying to uh, get you to do a free trial of their. Uh, um, I think Con TV is what they, you know, they have. Uh, it's a digital network um, online or on uh, Roku, iOS, and Android uh, that's supposed to, you know, appeal to geekdom. Um, you know, they do cosplay events and original series and uh, panels and stuff from Comic Cons, things like that. So that's what that is. And then the card, which describes everything. I like actually, I like their card because again, their card is, is, is you know, artistically uh, nice, nice to look at. Talks about the artist down on the bottom. Talks about what's in the box as well. And then on the flip side, it talks about, it goes over what next month's is. So next month's is adventure. They've got a little Doctor Who, um, Link in there, um, you know, I'm not that thrilled with that theme. Now, when I saw Assemble, I wasn't that thrilled either, just because I thought I was getting a little bit repetitive. But um, I don't, I'm not too sure about the next box here. I think I got a three month subscription, so we'll be getting a Comic Con box next month. And I probably would anyway, just because I'm so impressed with this box in general. That's the end of the box, by the way. Um, and they're thanking us in the box. Again, the box is nice. This is just a great box. I really, this is becoming one of my favorites. I know it's only two months in, but between this and the Marvel Collector Core and, uh, you know, a couple of the other boxes, I'm really starting to see which ones I want to keep. And Comic-Con box is going to be one of those. It's just an excellent box, really put together well. Not a dud item in the box, other than that squishy Iron Man. And even that wasn't that terrible. Definitely not as bad as the last one I got. Um, overall, really impressed with this box. I'm going to give it an A. It's just great. Um, the shirt was good. I love the print. Um, and a great variant cover of the, of the Secret Wars comic book. Um, and then some silly things, you know, we got the must, the wearable mustache and the Lego um, luggage tag, some unusual items. I really enjoyed this box a lot. Um, so that's about it for this one. Um, definitely recommend Comic-Con box if you are looking to get yourself a single box to subscribe to or one or two boxes. I would definitely put Comic-Con box on that short list right now because they are knocking it out of the park right now as far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, other than that, um, I didn't mention it last video, but um, we're getting towards the end of these May boxes. So if you haven't subscribed yet, um, definitely uh, you know hit click that subscribe button down there because subscribers that comment on these videos are going to be entered in the giveaway for this uh, this uh, self curated box that I'm going to do for you. That's getting really really big and really really valuable. So um, definitely. Take the time to comment on this video, like this video, um, head over to our, our Facebook page and like that as well. I put the address in this video somewhere, um, so make sure you're hitting that up too. Um, we have some giveaways coming up for our 200th subscriber on YouTube and for our uh, 500th like on uh, Facebook. Slowly but surely we're getting there. So share this, tell your friends, and uh, we will see you next time with another uh fun box video. Bye-bye.